Have you ever heard of the Think Small campaign? The Think Small ad campaign is ranked as the best advertising campaign of the 20th century by Ad Age. Volkswagen is one of the most popular car companies today, being known for its quality in German engineering. The origins of the company date back to the 1930s Nazi Germany, with Hitler's desire to have a car that anyone would be able to afford. Shortly after World War I, the US entered an industrial age that craved large and lavish cars, especially the muscle cars. The Beetle, in contrast, was small, compact, and strange looking, which made it very difficult to market. To make matters even more difficult, the Beetle was manufactured in Wolfsburg, Germany on a plant built by the Nazis. The campaign was produced under the Doyle Dane Birnbach Agency. The message focused on the car's qualities by giving it personality and relating the car to its consumers. It took an underdog mentality and used that message to persuade the viewers. Doyle Dane Birnbach wanted to focus on simplicity. He wanted to contradict the traditional ads of the time by using less clutter and more emotional content. The Beatles print campaigns therefore focused on negative space. Typical ads at the time were more information based and this type of advertising started to disinterest the viewer. The ads were also more fantasy oriented. The Beatles' ads connected with people on an emotional level. They were simple and aesthetically pleasing, and they also outlined the advantages of driving a small car. This approach was so well received that it ushered in a creative revolution in advertising. Ad agencies would copy Birnbach's approach, which was emotional and minimalistic at its core. We can even see that in today's advertisements that tug at our heartstrings. Take, for example, Apple or emotional halftime ads that have taken over media content. So why not think like Doyle Dane Birnbach and think small?